Big Duluth, it's a spiritual pleasure to be up in town. I just had some of the famous ketchup down at the Duluth Grill. I was cooking up a few pasties on a hot shovel down in the mine, and I figured it's time to come play some songs, if you know what I'm saying. So here we go, guys.
We got a couple more tunes here. You know, uh, last night we ate a hainted local frozen za. What was the brand? Let, but you said another name, like oh, I it was a Haggies. Haggies. Ooh, buddy, I woke up at about six a.m. and my stomach was a rumbling. <laughs> Had to run down to the bathroom and let it loose. <laughs> let me tell you. And then the other guy who ate that hainted Laddie's pizza is a psychedelic YouTube celebrity named Rachel Feast. And he threw off on his girlfriend's garbage can next to her bed. And let me tell you, she is pissed at him right now. <laughs> he couldn't be on the show right now because he's hanging with his girlfriend trying to make up for spewing in her trash can last night because he was so wasted and also he chugged hot sauce. But more than anything, he ate this hainted laddie's Hawaiian pizza. So be careful, y'all, when you're messing with that stuff. Let's see here, guys. I got a couple more quick tunes. Holy Duluth, one of my favorite cities in the world, that's for sure. Let's see here. just at holy saint michael's thrift man if you ain't been there i suggest you get there asap now that's a great spot so, you're looking good man i asked you last <laughs> night and you said you had to think about it but uh what's your favorite fast food on tour favorite fast food on tour probably taco krell taco bell where you work currently yeah. and i used to work at a taco bell um I would say Taco Bell because it's always dependable. Vegetarian options are off the chain. Honestly, healthy, I would almost say. Yeah, healthy. Um, where's the most haunted place you've ever been? Could have been the other night when I was at this place uh, in Schuylkill County, PA, probably. Um, I was supposed to play a show out... Um, in the woods in Schuylkill County, PA, which is pretty backwoods part of Pennsylvania. And I went way out. There was no cell phone signal or nothing like that. And uh, it was way middle of the woods. And uh, I had the address, so I made my way out there. I got out there, and there was some people out there. I was reuniting with some of my friends that I had met on Appalachian Trail uh, a couple, I guess about a year ago. And there was one, two, three, four. It was four people plus me all reuniting. But at this psychedelic, at these cabins that these people live out, at friends of friends, basically. So I roll up in my car, and I get out, middle of the woods, hainted vibes already flowing, and I'm like, man, like, this is twisted. You know, I could tell something wasn't right. And I went, the first thing they said to me, they're like, we're going to show you the room that you're staying in tonight. 
And I said, okay. So they took me and I was hanging out with this little dog and we cruised up to the room that I'm supposed to stay in that night and I roll in, but the dog wouldn't go into the room. It just stood at the edge of the doorway going, I said, oh no, this is a hainted room. But I went in anyways and I checked it out. There was objects ritualistically placed all around the room. I knew that if I had gone to sleep there, I'd wake up to Rosemary's Baby type of sacrificial kind of like orgy type of scenario going down. And I noticed that (laughs) where my head would have been on the pillow behind a fake makeshift wall right next to there was the scariest mask I've ever seen in my life. Terrifying mask. I brought a friend of mine down who uh, is a really, you know, a not, not a scared guy, a pretty solid dude through Hike the AT. He took one look at that mask, and he went running out the place. Jeez. Terrifying. <laughs> and nobody knows what it is. It's just this demonic mask. And so I left that place, and I went to the other cabin, and I told the guys, I said, dude, I'm not staying in that. That's the most, that's horrible vibes. <laughs> and they said, you think that place is haunted? This place right here, the couch that you're standing right next to, the woman who lived here before us five years ago committed suicide by gunshot wounds, self-inflicted upon this couch. We kept the couch because it was so comfortable. I said, suicide couch? No way, dude. And I felt her ghost chilling with me the rest of the time there. And uh, I was sitting on the porcelain throne, and I knew that she had kicked it on there. And it was just a very weird thing. And then I went up to my car out in the woods, and the car door kept opening and closing on its own. And I said, I ran away back down to where people were, and I said, man, uh, this place is so haunted. This is insane. And they said, yeah, it's buried on an old sacred burial ground is where it's all these hainted cabins were built on top of a mystical burial ground and the ghosts are just going insane up in the joint and uh i was like man this is this is crazy and it was just more and more intense and there was a keg of yingling beer and on top of the keg of yingling beer there was 300 other beers and in attendance at the party was 14 and a half people and they drank all those beers. So that gives you a picture of how wasted people were at this psychedelic place. And I guess about 3 a.m., a truck drunkenly swerving up the driveway, almost flew into a pond, pulls up, and it turns out it is a prison guard just getting off work whose name is the Bearcat, who was barely wearing any clothes, popped out of his truck and tried to fight everybody at the party. I would say at least on this tour, that was the most haunted place that I've been. Wow. <laughs> Pennsylvania. Yeah. It was next level. It's an eerie place. It is. Oh. Eerie PA. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Final question. If you could go back in time and write any song in history, what song would you be credited with? Mm, that's a good question. Probably, um, probably Surfing USA, but I would rename it Tugtown USA. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it would be uh, would be what I would <laughs> what I would do. <laughs> <laughs> there, folks, you've had it, Frank Hurricane with right. Tugtown, uh, USA. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Holy Duluth, I got one last tune here uh, for, the, for this mystic session. I'm playing in Minneapolis tonight. Played at Pizza Lucci's last night, downtown Duluth. It was an incredible gig uh, with my friend Norby. And uh, Ben was there and a bunch of people. And especially this psychedelic YouTube celebrity gone wrong, Ractal Feast. <laughs> this last song's for our boy big ractal feast check him out on youtube when you get the chance and definitely go to saint michael's thrift thanks to big ben over here uh thanks to the duluth grill thanks to norby thanks to everybody here at the community station it's a spiritual pleasure to be kicking it with y'all this last song's for all you guys let's see
rich mountain blue. Check my music out on Spotify and Bandcamp and all that stuff. Frank Hurricane, I got my new album out. Life is spiritual. Check it out, y'all. Thank you, guys. Big Duluth. We go down on Stanley Creek, and that autumn is a coming. The leaves are falling down And that water sure is running Look up to your side See that big old bee mound Feel that spirit flow That holy cleansing fountain It's a spiritual pleasure, y'all. I am Frank Hurricane. And the Hurricanes of Love is my band I usually play with. It is a spiritual pleasure to be up in Duluth with Big Ben, Norby, the holy crew here at the station. Love you guys, man. Have a spiritual one. Peace. Dog a pasty, y'all. Peace, my friends. <laughs>